Hey guys, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. We're back here in the NZXT workshop. In the last episode, we made this a super small form factor, water-cooled mini ITX PC built in the Lian Li TU-150. Silver and window edition. Uh, it was really a, a lot of fun, actually. Got this nice purple theme going with the NZXT workshop here. And that is a lot packed into a very small case. We've got a Ryzen 3950X, a water-cooled 2080 Ti from Zotac. It's pretty sick. I like it a lot. I'll take you. Can I have? Can I take you home, please? In in real in real life, please. Um, but in this episode, uh, I'm not going to show you guys builds this time because I've got kind of a special request that I uh, I want to work on kind of on its own. So this is actually from a comment from 1,000 subs, no videos. Congrats, bro. If that's true, good for you. I don't know what you're doing. You can let me know how you get 1,000 subs, no videos. Good for you. Um, the comment was, try to recreate Chill Blast Dreadnought. And I was like, what? What, is, what does that mean? I don't know what that, what is that? So we went to, we went to the old search engine, you know, on the internet, and uh, typed in Chill Blast Dreadnought. Turns out Chill Blast is like a UK PC builder, PC building company. I don't know if you could call them a boutique PC builder. Um, but yeah, basically like a system integrator. And so Dreadnought is a pretty high-end gaming PC that they build and so like I've had I've had a few requests before where people are like hey build this like real in you know IRL PC in PC building simulator and a lot of times I can't really do it just because the part selection isn't gonna be good enough in the game to get it done but for this PC actually I think we can do it so um, here it is you can see it this is the Chill Blast Dreadnought. It's built in the Cooler Master Cosmos C700P, which we have in the game. We don't have this color scheme, the gunmetal and black, but we have a silver version. I'm calling that pretty good. Um, it's, built, it's built on a 9900X Core i9 from Intel and two air-cooled 2080 Ti's, though in the picture, in all of these pictures actually, it's, uh, they, this, I think they've, they've kind of updated this computer as time went on. Originally, this was with uh, two of the Star Wars edition, the Empire edition, that's why it's like Galactic Order. Those are the Titan XPs, I X little P. Uh, those are pretty cool, those are, those are pretty sweet graphics cards too, um, but now they've moved to 28 Ti's. It also used to be a slightly different Core i9, I can't remember which one. Um, but yeah, 9900X, two 28 Ti's. I don't know which 28 Ti's they use. They don't have pictures of that build. I'm just gonna go probably with Founders Edition. So yeah, you can see uh, we've got the front there, which is really just C700P with a little chill blast at the bottom. I won't have that. Um, and then the, the color theme is really simple. Just kind of some red RGB, really just around the motherboard on the RAM. A little bit from the RGB uh, water block they have on the CPU, because this has a custom water cooling loop on the CPU only. The graphics cards are air-cooled. They are, however, using the Asus Rampage, you know, specific EK water block, which we don't have in the game inside PC Building Simulator, but we'll just do, you know, we'll get, we'll get kind of close. Um, but yeah, a lot of this I can duplicate. Like, I think I can probably get, like, some kind of black and red cabling. It probably won't look quite this cool. But uh, I can do the motherboard. You know, I, I can do the CPU. I can pretty much do the graphics cards. I can, guess, I can guess a little bit on what graphics cards they actually use. And we can do a little bit of water cooling loop. So I think this is going to be a really fun one to try to recreate. So thanks, 1,000 subs, no videos for this idea. I think it's going to be pretty fun. So let's get right down to it. Starting with, obviously, not cables. I don't know why I clicked cables. Uh, C700P. Cooler Master Cosmos C700P. So there it is. This is just like the silver version. I wish we had that black gunmetal one because it's awesome. This is a sick case though. This is a super tower. Let me pick it up and put it back again. Actually, it looks pretty dark. Maybe it, Maybe this is gunmetal. I don't know. That's actually looks really nice. But yeah, this is a super tower. This is like the computer I think I did the original RGB, P, the super RGB PC in. Uh, so that's pretty fun, but now we're going to use it for this, and I've got a couple questions, because like, looking at the pictures of this build, I don't really know what they're doing at the front of the case. I, it looks like they're taking this beauty panel out, and they've probably got a radiator, it looks like they've got a radiator up front. I don't think they have anything up top, though, that I can tell. Again, like, it, it's really hard to tell because they don't have any angles at the front. 
So we're going to kind of, sort of have to fill in, you know, fill in the blanks a little bit. But I still think it'll be pretty fun. So, okay. Let's see. I'm going to go ahead and get our Rampage Extreme motherboard in here. We will go with the regular Rampage Extreme, not the Apex. Because it is basically the same motherboard they use. They said they used the Asus ROG Rampage Extreme Omega X299 motherboard. So I don't know exactly what the difference is between the Omega or whatever. But, um, yeah. Um, like I said, we're going to be doing the Intel i9. Can I... I want to... I just want to open this. Can we just... Can I... Come here. Please. Please, game. Why? Why are you... Oh, there it was. I saw it for a second. Ah, there it is. Why are you so touchy? Okay. 9900X. That's CPU cooling. What are we, what are we doing? That's this PC. We have got a 9900X. 10 core, 20 threads, 3.5 3 gigahertz to 4.4 gigahertz. It's what they said, apparently. So, yeah, pretty beefy. That is not a cheap CPU. In this game, it is a $660 CPU. That's before, I think, the 9900K came out that they had the 9900X, maybe? But, uh, I think? I could be wrong. Okay, so that's what we got. CPU motherboard. We're gonna be doing... We can. I guess we can go ahead and do our storage quick. They said for the OS drive, it'd be a 1 terabyte Samsung 960 Pro M.2. Obviously, we don't have Samsung anything in this game. But we can do a 1 terabyte... M.2 for sure for our primary drive and then the secondary drive is a two terabyte Samsung 860 Pro solid state drive which would be like I guess like a two and a half inch drive man I mean I guess we can do that it seems kind of sad to me but well, we, can, we can do it um since I've just been having such a good time with our uh where's our A data drives those are those are kind of those are that's kind of what I'm preferring these days, yeah. We'll do the one terabyte. We'll slap her in here. There's our primary drive. And they're really saying a two terabyte, well, I gotta stick with it, right? Two terabyte, two and a half inch SSD. Guess we can do gigabytes, huh? They have a two terabyte? No, no. Oh, they only go up to one terabyte. Wow, really? They give us a 240 gig and a 256 gig? I never noticed. It seems, and a two, wait, what? Oh, UD Pro? What? That five megabyte, megabytes per second difference in speed? Okay, sorry, I'm getting distracted. What is the point? Um, I guess we're going to have to use a Corsair drive. Or do we use an RGB drive? We do that. Where does it go? I don't know where it goes. Oh, there. Okay. <laughs> there it is. There's our, there's our storage, I guess. That's all they talk about for storage. So, uh, cool. Now, we're going to be doing custom water cooling. Like I said, they have the super special EK water blocks, like Asus Rampage, like full cover water block, which is super sweet. They don't have it in this game, so we're just going to do a regular old RGB EK water block block. Oh, it's so much smaller. It's not nearly as cool looking. It's nice because like their full cover water block like comes up here and it does all the VRMs and everything. So it's a way better water cooling solution for like overclocking, but... That's okay. We are limited again by part selection. Um, for RAM, four sticks of 16 gig Trident Z RGB. I believe these are the slots you would go in. I guess I should look and see what slots would they go in? Eh? Yeah, probably what I'm doing, I think. Maybe. I can't tell. We're just gonna say that's right. I don't have the motherboard manual on me, guys. Is it these? T is it? Is it those? Yeah, I'm going with that. I'm, I'm, go I'm going with that. All right. So Trident Z RGB. We can do that. We can definitely do that. So we're gonna do the black Trident Z RGB. And if you're running the speed, they tell us 3600 mega mega hit megahertz. Jeez. Uh, okay. Right here. Eight gigs. We're gonna do four of these. And here. And one there. And maybe here. Mm, yep. And one more. There. Okay. There we go. We've got a lot of the PC already put together. Let's see how our reservoir reservoir sizes up. It looks like they're basically doing a pretty straight up 
um, black EK Waterbot kind of D5 pump. So I'm going to go with this one, the 140 Revo D5 from EK. And uh, theirs looks like it's probably mounted. Actually, that is pretty spot on. Theirs is not quite this tall. Maybe? Oh well, that's what we're doing. That It's definitely not the short pump, so we're not doing the short pump. The short pump. Cool. So that looks good. Um, okay, other things I can definitely tell in the back, I can tell that they have a Corsair, like a pretty straight up Corsair fan with like the red corners. At least I, I think we have these in this game, right? Oh, do we not? I have the I have one of I have these fans in real life. Dang, I guess they don't exist in this. Oh, that's sad. Well, then we're going to use one of these to kind of get close. I guess cuz it's just a solid like red fan. It's, it's I mean, you can see it's got the tabs. That's definitely a Corsair fan. Like I know that fan. Uh Yeah. I guess we'll just do What is the difference? 120 120 case fan what uh bionics i don't know is it a 120 maybe a 140 actually nice okay we're gonna do that yeah it's not the corsair fan they had but it is pretty darn close okay so we know we still need to do some water cool we need to obviously get our radiator in here from what i can tell the radiator is in the front you can't see it it is not RGB, or if it is, it is not lit up. So I'm going to follow suit and go pretty darn stealth, which means I'm going to use the Alpha Cool radiator with the Be Quiet fans. And we're going to go 360 rad because that looks about like what they're doing. It looks like they run. Their plumbing is super interesting from what I can... And my, my reservoir isn't oriented the same way. Obviously, like, I could turn it in real life. But basically, there's these fittings are turned to the left, and they run out of this into the in. So it goes out the radiator in the reservoir, and then it comes out and goes into the CPU, and then it comes back. We aren't quite going to be able to duplicate it perfectly, but we'll we'll try. We'll try to make it look close. It looks like they probably don't have these drive bays in. Can I take these out? Oh, nope, I guess, well, I can't take those out, huh? Wow, I don't know, hmm, okay. Whatever you say, game, whatever you say. I guess we'll put our beauty panel back in, for what that's worth. Okay, um, good, how we doing? We need a power supply? We need graphics cards. Power supply, they say specifically, that is not part why, why, why do I click the wrong thing every time? They use the Corsair 1600i, AX 1600i. That's a beefy, beefy girl. Apparently you take the shroud off. Okay, okay. And I need to yeah. uh, take off the cradle. Get, don't cradle it. Okay, put our cradle back. It's fun. Auto cables are so nice, except for like this one, this one time. Okay, and shroud. Okay, that's our power supply. We're good there. Okay, pretty good, I think. Now, graphics cards. Like I said, these are not water cooled, and they specifically say they use the 2080 Ti. They do not tell us which one. Like I said, in the photos here, this is the Star Wars edition of the GTX Titan XP. Or is it? Maybe it's not GTX. I actually can't remember. Titan XP. Whatever. The Empire edition. Those things are so cool. I really wanted those when they came out, but, you know, they're like $1,200. So. so I didn't get one. But we're going to use two of the Founders Edition 28 Ti's. I think there's probably 28 Ti's that would look better. Like, I really, again, I wish that Strix, like Strix has a 2080 Super, Asus Strix. They have the 2080 Super. I know you're in here. There you are. Uh, I wish they had the 2080 Ti because I think there's would look really good in this build, but they don't have it. So we're gonna do the Founders Edition 2080 Ti's. You know, but I gotta like remove this. This duh. It's amazing this case doesn't support vertical GPU. Though I think in real life this supports a second system here, and that's why you've got these grommets. Well, maybe not. Actually, I could be totally making that up could be completely lying to your face. Founders 2080 Ti 
There you are. I think that looks pretty darn good on top of the Rampage Extreme. Yeah. That looks sick. I like how dark the Titan XPs were. I like the black. I think that was sweet. Um, but that's okay. We're, we're not going to get that, but that's okay. Okay, so what we have left here, we should probably do some fans up top. I cannot see fans at all in their build up top, but I'm probably going to install some because this computer is like thousands of dollars. I would think you should have like all the fans. So I'm probably just going to, I guess I'm just going to do this to make it look cohesive. Use those same fans that we use for the, for the back and put them up top. Arctic Bionic. Okay, oh, we, gotta, we gotta remove this dust filter, and then we'll continue with our Arctic Bionics. Cool. Looks like we should have room for three 140s. I hope. Don't be weird on me, game. Thank you, game. I appreciate that. Okay, so cables. We got plumbing. For cables, they did this really nice, like, striped black and red. Like I've said a little bit with um, cabling and PC building simulator, they don't. The custom cables in this game just don't look super cool like they do in real life. Like, I think in real life, custom cables, custom sleeve cables can look really great. They just don't look super great. Ribbon, plastic, striped, black, red. There's also... Oh my gosh. Ribbon, plastic, duo, red. I don't know. I don't know. A duo red. It's so it's too hard to find a, the cable that looks good here. These seem to all be solid toward the bottom. I mean, there's just some weird, like I don't understand what tight plastic plain black means. Like I don't feel like they actually look that different. Okay, here's a bunch of different. Let's try the ribbon plastic striped black red. Yeah, that actually looks right. And then a few of these probably aren't going to... Oh, it's not horrible. Let's see, SSD around back. Okay, that's not horrible. It's not great. It's not as. It's not nearly as good as their cabling looks, but... It's okay. Daisy chain these fans together. Okay, that's everything cabled up. And it's not bad. It's not nearly as nice as theirs, obviously. Like, their... Their, uh... Their additional power cables for the graphics cards look so much sweeter. But, uh, okay, we're good to try to run our piping. From what I can tell, I'm just, like, paging over this. It looks like they're going with clear tubing. They're using those black, those black fittings, these ones, that I don't, like, love, the EK angled ones. But we're going to do it for the, the sake of consistency here. We're going to go with clear rigid, because that is, it is pretty obvious they're doing clear and, uh, okay, from what I can tell, their loop order, gosh, it, it's, mm, it's a little bit, it's a little bit hard to tell. Um, actually, I'm thinking they're going, and, and again, their, their reservoir is turned, la it's turned clockwise slightly, about, about a quarter turn. Um, from what I'm telling, what I can tell, they're going out the radiator, into the reservoir, through the reservoir, out the reservoir, it goes like this, up and around, and then, obviously, the Oh, boy. Wait, how does this block work? Oh, I guess, okay. So they just have a... So they're going into the CPU block, out the CPU block, up, and into this. So we're going to try to do something like that also. And we're going to kind of try to, like, make the bends look similar, but, yeah, it's this is going to be a bit of a crapshoot. Oh, boy. Wait, 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 wait. I don't want these... Okay, no, you know what? These are not going to be the right fittings. Because I'm not putting these big ugly boys in here. That's not how theirs looks. Okay, we're going with our usual black EK fittings, which actually look good. So, good job, Chill Blast, on using fittings that are much prettier. Gonna delete some of these bends because they're in my way. And, alright. That's close ish. Uh, Coming out of that is always a little bit iffy. Okay, I mean, I wish I could do sort of like a rounder angle when I do 90s. They don't let you do anything like that because theirs are much curvier than mine or mine are very right angle. Um, but, you know, pretend with me, pretend. Just pretend. Okay, 
That's good. Out, radiator, into reservoir, through reservoir, out reservoir, into CPU block. And there's just kind of follows this fun little little route like this. And goes like that. And theirs is definitely just like taking an angle like that. So we're gonna do the same thing. It's pretty it's a little more Oh no, I'm I was on the wrong tool. Oops. Like that. Okay, that's kind of how theirs goes. Again, like swoopier. Actually, theirs isn't really like straight vertical. Well, no, it, it pretty much is. Okay, we're gonna do like that. It's pretty close. Again, like we can't get perfect here, but we're gonna we're, do, we're doing our best. All right, this one is kind of cool. It goes sort of wow. Okay, kind of goes like this. Pretty much just like a straight shot over and away. I really wish I could do those like nice open rounds, but we can't. And then as far as liquid, I'm pretty sure they're just going with clear because, I mean, it looks, well, that looks completely clear. So we're going clear coolant, distilled water, I assume. It's so funny. It's like less clear than I expect. And then some of the other coolants are way more clear, way less opaque than I expect. It's like, you just can't win, right? Okay, we should be good to power on, maybe? No? What have I forgotten? Uh, maybe I need to actually put panels on, otherwise it won't start. That's always like really good at making you feel insecure about your build. Put our filters back. Front panel. Is that front panel? Oh wow, so the front panel. There's no, oh maybe the top panel is affecting our ability to power it on? Not sure, couldn't tell ya. All right, power cycle quick. This is a gigantic case. I'm always like too close to it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I guess we'll just put some, we're not gonna put this beauty panel on the front because they obviously are not using it because it blocks up all your fun water cooling bits. And uh, okay, that's everything back together. We can close up the back, which makes it look a little nicer. And uh, all right, I'm gonna get some stuff installed so we can show you kind of the, the comparison between the one I built and the one that Chill Blast built. So I got some stuff installed. I started to run a Times by Extreme test and got a blue screen because I forgot the thermal face. So I went back and fixed that and I redid my bends and yikes guys, I, I, I did it, I forgot. So uh, get ready for like the 12 comments that say you forgot the thermal paste and you would be right because I did, but I fixed it. It's good now, promise. We got a 17,406 on Times by, time by Extreme. That's a 19,039 for the graphics and 11,714 for the CPU. And uh, temperatures are surprisingly cool for 10 cores here. 52 degrees Celsius max, letting, running the infinite test for a while here. Pretty darn good. So, um, I want to go ahead and just fix our RGB, and then I think we're pretty much done. Obviously, um, looking at the bill that they did, the RGB is all red. Um, and there's not a ton of it, which is good, I guess. So it's kind of like this. Now obviously, <sighs> Nvidia and their graphics cards don't let us change the color of the RGB, which is sick and wrong. Same with the NVLink bridge. It's just sick and wrong because it makes this build not as cohesive as it should be. Can I close this door, please? Please help. Okay, please, 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 door. Oh my gosh. What? Why? Why can I not? Can I not close the door? Is there, did I do, is there something wrong? Did I do something wrong? Wow, okay, well, it's, I'm not, okay, cool. So there you go. That is presumably how I guess the, the, the current Dreadnought would look if they use Founders Edition cards. And maybe they don't, and I could see why, because Yo, that green RGB is messing everything up. But I think if you look at the picture of their build versus this, it's pretty close. Obviously, like the I think, oh, you know what would help, actually? Let's turn off the lights. Because, yeah. Okay, that helps a little bit. Oh, that definitely helps. Okay, that definitely helps. It does not help our green RGB. But 
That looks pretty darn close to what they showed us, doesn't it? Got the, just the red of the CPU block, the red from the RAM, and uh, you can kind of see the cabling a little bit. You can sort of see some of the water cooling, and that's it. It's kind of a stealth build. So that is kind of my take on trying to recreate Chill Blast Dreadnought using the i9-9900X and two Founders Edition 2080 Ti's. So I um, think it would look better without Founders Edition cards and something a little different. Like the Strix cards would be great. But uh, otherwise, I think it looks actually really, really, really close, and I'm pretty happy with it. So hopefully uh, you guys think it looks good too, and hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did enjoy, go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this one. Let me know if there's other PCs in real life that you want me to build. I can see if I can actually do it. We'll see. Um, and also, I'll be showing some of your guys' build submissions. So if you want to submit your own build that you built in PC Building Simulator, go ahead and check out the description for info on how to do that. And uh, maybe I'll feature in one of my videos coming up soon. Either way, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. See ya.